Welcome to Intro to Microsoft Publisher by the Mary F. English Program. Publisher is a desktop publishing application that lets you create signs, cards, banners, and anything else that uses graphics and text. It's the most popular platform for this purpose, but its biggest downside is the cost. You can buy the latest edition of it for $110, or you can buy it in the Office Professional Suite, not the Office Home or Student Suite, but the Professional, for about $335. So if your computer that you purchase comes with Office, you should take into consideration that it's a pretty good deal if Office is included. I don't have and can't afford Office 2013 right now, but I do have 2007 on my computer, which I'll demonstrate in this tutorial. And 2003, 07, 10, 2013, they should all be relatively similar to this. So when you start it up, the program will give you different publication types to choose from. So if you're making a, a card, if you're making a business card, if you're making a brochure, there's some nice templates here to make that easier. We're going to go with blank page sizes and you're going to select the type of paper you want to print out uh, what you're making on. So we're going to go with a standard letter uh, portrait. So double click. And this is the publisher interface. With all new programs I recommend you go through and highlight each icon and kind of soak it in and get a sense for what each one does with these uh, yellow boxes that pop up and notice the shortcuts that pop up. Those are very handy to memorize for you know creating things as quickly as possible. So go through, make sure you see all of them, even along this side here. And then when you're finished you can go through these tabs. Under File the options are pretty standard. New, Open, Close, Save, Save As, Page Setup, Print, and every user should know about the Publish as PDF or XPS option. If you're going to be emailing the publication you create with Microsoft Publisher, then if you save it in the usual file format, it's not going to be compatible on everyone's computer if they're using a different desktop publishing software. But if you use PDF, that's a common standard. It'll keep all the images on your page exactly as they are and then when somebody opens it on a different computer they don't need publisher they can see it all clearly so should definitely be aware of that under edit are many of the standard cut copy paste delete find and replace view will let you zoom in or zoom out you can add a header or a footer or you can adjust what bars you want to display for example if you want to get rid of the rulers you can click that if you don't want the task pane get rid of that. But the bulk of your work will probably be done with this insert tab. You can make a work on multiple pages by inserting a new page. You can specify how many you want to create and they'll appear down below here. You can also duplicate an existing page if you want an exact copy of it to be made. You can insert page numbers and specify where you want to put them and if you want to break it off in different sections with new page numbers go to section begin a section with a new page and we're gonna start a new page number at one so as you can see we have one two one two and there's a break in between to signify a new section the insert design gallery object is a great way to impress your boss there's a lot of cool graphics in here that you can customize. One of the nicest are the mastheads. So if you're making a newsletter or any kind of bulletin, you can use this pre-made object. Then you can change it to your title and business name. And there you go. Publisher also makes it easy for you to change the color scheme so it'll match with your organization. So you go to Format Publication and then Color Schemes. And then if you select from these, it'll change the pre-made objects automatically. So in our case we're going to create a new one. So match up your colors and then name your scheme and save it. And now you can automatically change your documents to match your school's colors. 
And a quick note, don't worry if you see these dotted lines, they will not show up when you go to print. I'm sure you'll want to insert pictures in your document, so go to Insert, Picture, and then you can choose from Clip Art, or you can go from File. So I'm going to select four images. If you hold the control button, you can select more than one image at a time, and then insert all of them. Then you can move them around on the page. You can resize them using the white circles. You can adjust the angle they're at with the green dot above them. Once you have the pictures set up, you can insert text boxes. So click the Insert Text Box button, then drag a box, and type your message. And you can resize this like any other Microsoft Office product. You can change the font type and the size. You can make it bold. You can stretch the box if it doesn't fit. And you can also angle it like the pictures. And so pictures and text are the basics of Microsoft Publisher. There's also the Word Art button over here if you want fancier words. Just type in your message and move it around the page just like any other picture. Now this is important as you can see the DeKalb, Illinois word is blocking the word we put over here. So you can fix that with text wrapping. We're going to turn the text wrapping off for this object by going to Arrange, Text Wrapping, and select None. So then we can move in a position and the text will not disappear because it's uh, text wrapping pushes the text down away from the object that you have laid on top of it. Okay, so the other tabs are in tools. I don't use a whole lot of the stuff in here. We have spelling, and that's about all I would use in here for beginner level. That's all you really need to know. You can insert tables, just like in other Microsoft Office programs. And the Arrange tab is very important. Let's say you're laying your pictures on top of one another, and we want this picture to be on top of this one. You can go to Arrange, click Order, bring to front and there you go. You could also group your pictures with the text by highlighting both that you want in the group. Go to arrange and click group and now when we click one of those things the whole thing moves. So if we just click the text it moves together as one unit. Let's say you wanted the middle of this picture to go over the middle of this picture. You would do that by holding down control and clicking each of these, going to arrange, align or distribute and then align center. There's a variety of other align options in a range. You can align to the left, right, top, middle, bottom. There's also this distribute function. If you'd like the images to be evenly spaced, you click control for each one you want to be spaced and then go to align or distribute and then distribute horizontally. And that's the bulk of what you need to know to get started with Microsoft Publisher. That does it for this tutorial. If you'd like to learn about a free alternative to Microsoft Publisher, check out the LibreOffice Draw tutorial. Thanks for watching.